What's going on, you all? This is Brother D here, coming back at you with another season of the Brother D Show podcast. Welcome to season two, and today's date is April the 27th, and we are going to jump right into today's show. On today's show, we will be talking from the subject, the inner me. Okay, so on the inside of each and every human being that is living. And any uh, being period. We all have a soul. Now with the soul. The soul is comprised of three parts. The mind. The will. And the emotions. And we have to. Understand and know that. Our emotions. Can either tell us the truth. Or they can lie to us. So sometimes our emotions in our mind can tell us you're not worthy of this, this job, this promotion. You're not worthy to go and to work in tech. You're not worthy to go and work in, um, work for the government. You're not worthy to go into certain places because you don't have the education. You don't have the background. You don't come from a wealthy family or a fam- family that w- was well off. So you have to think about that. Our insides can tell us we're not worthy. We don't deserve the best that life has to offer. But we cannot be afraid, nor can we, we be ashamed of where we came from. Of how our life started out. And for some people, how our life is right now. We can't worry about those things. Because at the end of the day, there are certain things that were outside of our control. So we have to to come to grips with the fact that we deserve better. And regardless of what the next person has accomplished in their life. You're going to accomplish greater And you're going to um, have more than what you currently have right now. But in order for that to become a reality in your life and in your world, you have to believe it. Not only do you have to believe it, but you have to take the proper steps to achieve it. You have to believe it and you have to take the steps to achieve it. Because if you don't believe it, then it won't be. You can't allow uh, your cousin or your neighbor's five, ten certificates to intimidate you. The fact that they graduated from a, a major college intimidates you. No, you have what it takes. You might not have been uh, the most athletic kid in school, in college, and high school. Or in school period. You might not have uh, had, have had a lot of friends growing up. And you might not have a lot, a lot of friends right now. Listening to this episode. But you have to, to take what you have. And say you know what. I'm going to use what I got. Use the skill sets that I have. The experience that I have. And I'm going to take the proper steps. To, to make my life better. Look at where you are right now and look at where you're trying to go and write down those steps that you need to achieve it. But don't listen to the inner me. Because when you when you want to embark upon something new, sometimes that inner me says, I don't know if I can do it. I'm not sure if I can accomplish this. This has never been done in my family. Do I really have what it takes? Am I really smart enough? Am I good enough? Are they going to hire me or are they going to hire somebody else? Can I start my own business? Am I going to be successful? Where is the support going to come from? And all these different things that might run through your head can tell you you can't do it. Because when you embark upon something new, it can be 
intimidating and it, it could cause you to, to think that you're not capable based off of past experiences or things that you have come from out of to get to this uh, place that you're at now and the place that, that you're trying to go. But you have to make up in your mind that you can do it. If you've come this far, you can keep on going higher. If you feel like you're in a pit right now, there is only one place for you to go. And that's up. If you're at the bottom right now, there's no other place for you to go but up. So I just want to leave you with that. You have to make the decision to tell the enemy, yes, I am good enough. Because your mind and your thoughts, they rule your life. They rule your human person and they go, if you allow them, they're going to rule your life. I'm reminded of what somebody said when they said, sometimes you, you don't succeed because you don't plan. For some people who might have the belief and the faith within, the, within themselves that, that they can accomplish certain things. And yet you, you, yet you feel like you're not accomplishing them. You have to think, am I planning things out properly? If not, start today. Start today. How are you going to make the rest of your spring and your summer look? Where do you want to be uh, before you get to the end of 2022? Write it down and make the proper steps to get there. That's what you have to do. That's what you have to do. Focus on what you're good at and not not on what you uh, need help with or need help on. Because if you begin to focus more on what you're not that great at, then that's going to bring what? Discouragement to you. So you have to focus on what you are good at. Okay? Just take these, these few things and apply them to your life. Also, what you might want to do is just get up in the morning, exercise, read, whatever it is that you do. Get your morning coffee. If you go to Dunkin' Donuts, get get your Dunkin' Donuts and have some time to yourself, whether it be, be to pray or whatever it is that you need to do to start your day. But set the tone for your day. You have to shift your mind if you want to shift your life. This is Brother D, y'all, and I hope that this episode that has um, encouraged you and it has brought forth motivation as well as inspiration. I also want to leave you with this. Um, we have a class co coming up soon on Zoom, but you have to register through Eventbrite. So if you want more information about it, you can go to my social media channels and I already have some information posted about the class there. Okay. Um, and, or you can also send us an email, like us on Facebook and you can follow us on IG. This is brother D y'all signing, signing off for the day. Have a good one.